How's it going guys? In this video we're going to do some toy photography with an iPhone 13 Pro Max. So as you probably know, usually when I shoot my toy photography, I'm using my Sony DSLR, but uh, I want to do this phone video because, yeah, a lot of people are using their phones nowadays. Not everyone has necessarily access to a nice DSLR. Also, these iPhones and whatever smartphones you have nowadays can do some ridiculous, awesome stuff. The cameras are really good, and this one has some really cool stuff. So this is going to be a really great video going through all the different great features that this camera has. Plus, I did do a video about smartphone toy photography and stuff like that a couple years back, but it's pretty outdated, so it's about time I did a new one. So the main things that I really want to cover in this video, and one of them being the ultra-wide lens that this iPhone has. There's this ultra-wide lens where you get up really close and get all this stuff around the outside. It's really quite awesome, and I'm going to try and take some cool shots with this lens and some cool lighting, and I'm also going to do some portrait mode stuff. There's a lot of great things you can do on a portrait mode. And then we're just going to try and do some normal action shots like I usually do. Do some burst photos. Maybe even use some fireworks see what happens, what I can do with this. Also, at the end, we're going to do some editing too, so don't you worry. We're going to do editing all on the phone. It's going to be great. Okay, so we've got Mando and Grogu over here with some really cool lighting coming through the fence right now. And so I got my camera open right now on my phone. So if I'm going over here and see there's this different lens option right here, if I go to the 0.5, everything seems very far away. But what it does, it gives me the ability to get really super close to the subject. Like super close, which is so cool. And it really looks great on camera too. So I'm gonna try and get him into a pose where it looks like he's kind of like pointing his gun like at the camera and looking down. That looks awesome. And I'm also gonna be using some of this Atmosphere Aerosol, which I use all the time. And that's gonna really make the lighting look really cool here. Look at that, just this nice little spray. That's gonna look great. So honestly, all I'm doing is just choosing that special 0.5 times zoom, which is basically just using that ultra wide lens. And that's it. So I'm gonna just start taking some photos now. Nice, look at that. That looks awesome. <laughs> this is so fun. So the next thing that I wanna do is the portrait mode on the iPhone. And the portrait mode's really cool because it will kind of automatically give you this nice out of focus background and make whatever the subject of your photo super poppy, it pops right out. But it is a little bit tricky to use, especially when you're using small stuff like toys. But we're gonna try and make the best of it for what we got, because we're toy photographers after all, right? I mean, come on. I've got my trooper here, and I specifically chose just a stormtrooper because he's got a very, very simple shape. The more complicated your shape is, and if you move his arms around too much, with the portrait mode specifically, the iPhone will kind of struggle and clip and things will be out of focus, not quite right. So that's something really to look out for if you want to try to use the portrait mode on your phone. So, but one of the really cool things about it, so let's say if I if I have portrait mode right here on my phone, it's telling me to move further away. And so, here it is. So I'm using natural light as the option for lighting. And so it, I can see the trooper. It's very much got that cool background, but one of the things is, is up here, the top left corner, there's a little f-stop button, and so I can adjust the f-stop. So right now it's at 1.4, which is really low. And the higher I turn it, the less the blurred background gets. So I can turn it all the way low to f1.4. And look how out of focus the background looks. It looks really trippy. But I can adjust that, I can do in between, I can do way too much. The f1.4 might be a little too much. So maybe like 3.5, that looks pretty good. And then maybe I can get a nice portrait of this guy. And of course I'm using the really cool lighting that's coming through this fence because it's early in the morning. And I love that really cool lighting. You know, all the special stuff, you know, we're using phones, cameras, 
And really the most important thing is, is lighting, always. And I have that lighting tutorial on the channel too if you're interested. Definitely make sure to check that video out as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and take some photos of this guy with the, with the portrait mode and see what we can get. These shots came out really great, and I haven't even edited these yet. I'm gonna go and do all the editing at the end of the video, but these look really cool. So we got this one. Yeah, these look pretty good. Okay, so we've done some portrait mode stuff, some wide lens stuff. Let's try to do some actual action shots, just like we always do, but with an iPhone this time. Let's do it. Okay, so now to do some action stuff. We've got Diddy Kong right here, my favorite Nintendo character. I have him propped up on a little wooden wire skewer thing so he can be jumping. And don't worry, we'll edit that out later on the phone. And uh, so it's a really bright and sunny day. So when there's a lot of light, the camera is able to move a lot quicker because it doesn't need to you know, take its time gathering in all the light. So when there's lots of light like this, the shutter speed on your camera will pretty much automatically adjust to that, which gives us an advantage because when the camera's moving fast, we can you know, have dirt and stuff flying around and the camera will move fast enough for us to capture that. So shooting on a sunny day like this when you want action is the way to go when you're using your phone, for sure. And I'm gonna be using this guy, so I'm sure you've seen this before. What you do is you pump it up like this and then when you pull the trigger, you get a bunch of dirt. So we're gonna use that with Diddy Kong. Hopefully that'll look cool in the photo. So one thing that I just learned with this that's really helpful that I'm actually gonna do now is if I push down the shutter button right here and go upwards or over to the left, that's how you shoot bursts of shots. So I'm actually gonna be doing that with the Diddy Kong shot right now. So we can take bursts of shots because we need, because we got tons of stuff moving, lots of photos all at the same time. That's what we want. But most importantly right now if you can tell I'm using a tripod so tripods are really cheap you can get them on Amazon for very very cheap especially ones that work with a phone and so I'm using the wide uh, uh, the ultra wide lens like I usually have been so far for Diddy Kong I can get real nice and close to him it looks really cool pump this up and then blow some dirt around for Diddy Kong and then hopefully we get a cool action shot of him jumping All right, these don't look too bad. There's one giant red thing in the background, but that's that's okay. I think we should be able to get rid of that when we edit at the end of the video. So, cool. All right, let's move on to some uh, some fireworks. All right, so now let's try using some fireworks for some toy photography with the phone. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, when you're using fireworks, be safe. Do it with an adult. Be careful, don't burn your house down, don't destroy your figures. Be careful, be safe, just don't be stupid. If you're wondering where to get these kinds of things, more safety tips, how to do it, make sure to check out the explosive tutorial that I have on the channel right now. All the information I know about that stuff is in there. I'm gonna be using these crackling ball fireworks, these tiny little things you light and they go create a perfect little explosion spark for toy photography. It's awesome, I use them all the time. I'm also doing it in the shade over here, which is better because fireworks kind of stand out more you know, in the dark, not so much in the bright sunlight. So it's good to do it either in the shade, a cloudy day, at night. So we're gonna be doing it in the shade today. So basically what I'm gonna do with this little crackling ball firework, place it right down here behind my Captain Rex Black series. So he's looking all cool, got a cool pose. And I'm gonna light it. And then while the fuse is going down, I'm gonna start holding down the trigger with the burst photos that we did on the last one and take a burst of shots and hopefully we get something cool. But yeah, like I said, let's be careful, be safe. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed when it blows up so I don't burn my eyes out. Here we go, let's do it. Alright, check this out. We got some good ones here. <laughs> look at that! These look awesome. Alright, okay, so now I think it's time to move on to doing some editing. So, the app we're going to be using to edit is this one right here. Snapseed. I'm sure you've heard of this one. 
So the reason why I'm using Snapseed, this app is actually pretty sweet because first of all, it's good. You can do a lot with it. It's completely free. That's the best part, actually. It's completely free. Anybody can grab it. And there's also the ability to remove objects from the photo. So for instance, if I had a wire or something I wanted to remove, Snapseed, you can get rid of that quite easily. So the first photo I wanna do while I'm editing is actually I wanna go and edit that Diddy Kong photo because the photo looks pretty cool. If you can see, it looks pretty cool, but um, yeah, actually there's a great big uh, drain blaster in the background and I would like to get rid of that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go down to the bottom here to tools and then there's a button here that says healing right over to the left. So I'm gonna zoom in and I'm just gonna start getting rid of some of this stuff. And look at that, it just starts removing it. I can go bigger if I want. And it might take a little bit to get it down. Some repainting. But oops, it will eventually get rid of it. And there it goes. It's gone. Check it out. Not too bad at all. And actually the wire stick thing that we used to keep him up, you can't even see it anymore. Oh, actually, you know what? Look at, you can see my tripod right here. Did not realize that. So let's get rid of that. There, you would never know it was there. Awesome. So as far as just like editing, you know, lighting and color, stuff like that, uh, Snapseed is also absolutely fantastic. So really what I would do, I would recommend just opening up Snapseed and messing around with all the different things in there and seeing what you could do to edit your photos. It's pretty great, especially if you don't have Photoshop, you just wanna use your phone, it's right there, it's super easy. So I'm gonna go do that and edit all the photos I took today and see how they all look in the end. So there's probably still a ton more things you can do with your smartphone for toy photography that I don't even know about yet. So please, if you have any ideas, tips, things that you do with your phone, please comment them in the comments below. I'd love to hear that, and maybe you can you know, give some other people some tips as well down in the comments. Uh, but uh, I had a really great time. It's really amazing how much I was able to pull off. These photos look really great with just my phone, and that's just so awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy it, please just drop a like. That would be awesome, and if you subscribe, there's so many other toy photography tutorials on the channel already, and I'm going to keep putting them out. So thank you guys so much, and I hope you enjoyed it, and um, I'll see you in the next one.